Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So I spent most of the night trying to rewire the, um, man it was such a pain in the ass, rewire the wires that were, were broken. Um, the issue was, is that I couldn't get, like normally I've got, so these wires right here, they're not in perfect position, but Normally they run from there to up there so I can repair them up here. But because I couldn't get, like I couldn't see these up here to be able to connect them, I had to go the other way. So they go from in here, the panel in here to the, to the, um, to the uh, wire posts over there and then from there back down below. So I kept to repair them down there now. No big deal. But it took me a while. I had to build an elaborate way to get up and down here just to be able to link everything. It was just a pain in the ass. So hopefully they don't break in down below and wreck those wires again. I mean, we don't necessarily need them. Um, but it's nice to have these extra two fence posts. So let's close these up. Blast shields. So what I want to do today is I think I want to focus on making sure the base is secure. I've got this weird feeling about tonight because of the 32 zombie horde. It's either going to go as it always has or it's going to end up being a disaster. Um, you know, not as bad as when they, like they, when they broke through here, it wasn't such a big deal. It's just replacing a few bl blocks and stuff. Not a big deal, right? Um, I'm just, I'm more worried about them like getting through all the hatches. So what I want to do, I'm going to do... I'm gonna maintain the same rule we had, no repairs. Uh, no, I can't. So I can't. That means if a hatch breaks, I can't throw another one down. So I maintain that rule. Um, but what I want to do, I think, um, is first things first. I think we got to work on getting um, SMG parts. So I need this, and I need mechanical parts. I believe it is. So we need. Um, for an SMG, is it auto rifle parts? I want to make a few of these. Oops, here we go. Pistol barrel and grip, auto rifle parts, and AK-47 receiver. So we have auto rifle parts. Um, pistol barrel and grip. I tr ah, man, I trashed most of these damn things. That figures. I should probably go down and check to see what... Uh, What's her name's got down below here too? Sell some stuff off. Grab that. And that one of these, just in case she's got a lot of schematics again. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I want to get the AK-47 receiver started. Let's get four, and then get one auto rifle part going. So we know I've got enough of that. I got enough barrels. The pistol grips are pretty cheap. I think it's just forged iron. Oh, it's steel and polymers. All right, well, let's go down and see what she's got in the store down here. We'll check it out. So I'm hoping... Sorry for my foul mood. Uh, you're not any my fouler than I am. On the fritz again. Do that. Don't know why I closed the door. Um, okay, so let's have a quick look here. You got some steel I don't really care about. AP 9mm be worth buying. Let's just go ahead and sell this stuff here. Okay, took it all. Nice. So do you have any schematics in your... You do. You've got 20 of them. Probably buy that first aid kit too. Uh, what else do we want to buy? The AP 9mm. I might buy the steel. It's. I mean, we've got so much money it's not a big deal, right? Okay, here we got more AP 9mm, some casings, not a big deal. Okay, nothing we want there, nothing we want there. I'm gonna check our farm today too. I mean, I, I don't think much has grown because it hasn't been that long, but. And then here, do you have any plastic or anything? Forged iron, you got a lot of that, I might buy that. So you don't have any parts. I'll go ahead and make some parts then. So let's go ahead and drink this. Now that was a good deal. Right. It's going to be an even better deal in a second, a lady. Alright. Um, may I see your inventoire? Take that. Means less I have to make. Uh, electrical parts. 
first aid kit. Got lots of dyes of pan, but we'll take that. It's increased rifle damage. Oh yeah, the whole reason why we were checking this. Take those. Now it's under. Oh, we'll buy this first. Um, regular nine mil, we're okay on. I think that's all I want out of there. Okay, you don't have any schematics in there. Hmm. Springs are cheap, we'll buy those. Glue's cheap. Clay's cheap, I don't have to make it. Forged iron, I don't have to make it. Less mining I have to do, the better. Um, what else do we need here? Polymers for sure. Buy your duct tape, I'll buy all your lead. I think that's it. That's a pretty I good just deal. Knew you'd find something you'd like. Yeah, I always do. I wonder if I should put a hatch behind that. Should I? No, I mean... Here's my fear. The problems we've been having now are that... The zombies will... Like, the, the higher the number the more likely they are to just bang on shit and go through shit, right? The last horde was big. They started breaking through stuff. Big issue, right? Um, so pistol grips. Let's get these started. I'm worried they're going to just decide to target her door. There's three started, and we'll get enough polymers for... Didn't want to have to make them, but whatever. Oh, wait, we've already got three here. Okay, so we don't need any more. Nice. Okay, so that can go away. That can go away. We have the perfect amount now of mechanical parts, so that can go away. Uh, that can go in there. All right. I just want to make sure that tonight goes flawlessly. I mean, it's never guaranteed that it's going to go well, but just want to make sure that we don't get ourselves in a predicament we can't get ourselves out of. So those two can go in there. You can go in there. You can go in there. Alright, so now we can start making some SMGs. I only got enough for one right now. So yeah, we're going to make four of these. So we'll have one level 80, and I'll save the other three. I mean, I could I could make a second level 80, but this is this is like the I need to kill demos now weapon. It's not really meant for the big heavy boys. It's the backup as well. So it's really the two coil rifles that are going to do most of the work. I think on the zombies tonight, um, and I got plenty of that. Like I got plenty of coil rifle stuff, so I'm not worried about that right now. I've got lots of shotgun ammo. Oh yeah, we got another, we got a couple of thousand rounds moving in here. So we've got that stuff now. So we should have enough coil ammo, I think, for tonight. Um, so what do we got in here? We got 2,400 rounds on us and another 3,200, 3,300 rounds. So yeah, we got, we're okay, I think, ammo-wise. 9 mil, I think we're okay. Shotgun rounds, we got plenty. And we're going to rock that most of the night, I think. So I'm not worried about that. Shotgun's maxed out. Sniper rifle's there if we need it. You know what we can do? While we's waiting, we can go ahead and open this stuff up. Um, Alright, there's that. So there's another 260. Grab some casings. Get that moving. Not bad. Excellent. Put that in there. We can start putting the stuff we're not going to need on us today or tonight in here. Those guys can go in there. We, well, going to leave the hunting knife out of it. Not repairing anything, so that can go in there. Okay, so uh, we should have our first one of these done. Yep, we'll get our SMG repaired. Now, uh, what do we got here? Just that? Okay. Um, ah, man, I'm panicking. Again, why is it always on Horde Night? 
I always start to panic ridiculously. I shouldn't, because I'm usually really well prepared. So I don't know why I feel like I'm behind on things. All right, there's our uh, pulse grenades. Um, let's modify you. We're going to quickly take a run out. And see if uh, the asshole's still there. And uh, hit him with one of these. See if that makes a difference. And then we'll try and rinse him. Um, anything else? I don't think so. That'll be a few minutes. Okay, let's go do that real quick. Then we'll come back. Now, this guy is ready to go because we've had him set up. Okay, take the motorbike. I find it highly unlikely that these pulse grenades will um, stop him from regenerating. I just don't think it's a thing. I, I mean, it, number one, it doesn't say it in the tooltip. Um, but number two, it, then why would you even have a... Uh, a laser rifle when you can just throw a pulse grenade instead. Now I don't think there's response. But let's oh there is. Shit. How do I get that guy down here? If he's up there, that is. So let's go around. Well we need XP too, right? So Okay, there's a guy right over here on my right. Interested to see, though, if that's... They, always, they sound way closer than what they I think they are. It's all XP. Bet you didn't expect to see me when he came around that corner. Really? Sure. Surprise, bitch! Okay, there was somebody else. I get overexcited, that's what it is. Okay, forget that bird. Pull this asshole out here. Ooh, I got him before he even got to me. Look at you, you dead bastard. Where's that dog? Oof. See ya. Pick you up in the middle of next week. Now. Can I see your head? I cannot. I see your head. Just barely. I shouldn't be doing this. Especially just before Horde. But I gotta know. I gotta know if this is gonna work or not. Okay, 
Okay, we got several more guys over here. Okay, one more down here. Let's go around this way. There's one in there too. All right, now we should be able to scrap this. Is it that barrel I'm hearing? No, there's one right in there. Okay, demonic cop and this dog. What if we can get the dog from across the way? Like, I don't know if we'll get a kill on him with the headshot. At least this POI is not big enough that everything respawns. Don't know if there's anybody in there, though. Yep. We did get the gun bag, right? Yeah. Couldn't be that lucky. All right. <laughs> Delete. Now the Bernie cop. Okay. Now we got one shotgun around out that guy. Let's go put it to good use. On you fuckers. Not gonna wait here forever for you. Well, we use a little bit more than one round. Let's go see if I can shoot through the. Uh, oops. Yeah, we got him. Oop, that was wood. Didn't get him. Nothing. I didn't bring an axe, because of course I didn't. Would have been nice to get some of the plastic here, but... Nothing else left. Nothing else left. Anything in here? Hidden stash. Ooh, that's not bad. Excellent. All right, let's go see. Yeah, I don't have parkour. 
Let's go see if asshole respawns upstairs, and if he does, these pulse grenades actually work. So last time he was in this corner over here. Yep. Keep that out of the way. Where is your head? See, I don't know. I'm going to throw all three of them, I think. He's just sitting over there regening health right now. That's the problem, right? He's just... Oh, he's at max. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go... Don't feel good about this. Okay, did not realize it was automatic. That was a um, behemoth plus a uh, demon lord guy. There he is. Oh, we can do it now. Are you shitting me? I wonder if that's enough to slow the regen down. What did he drop? Not a lot. Are they fighting each other? They are. You ain't got my speed, Bubba. Delete eat. Oh my god, we do have the ability to fight them now. That totally gives us the ability to fight them. Unless I'm figuring something wrong. Because we just wiped out the big guy, the behemoth, and the radiator behemoth. So it must it must slow the amount they regen down enough. It's got to. It's the only thing I can think of. Fucking guy. Good thing I was, wasn't working in an anti-aircraft gun during World War II. Alright, let's get back. Alright, so what did we learn from that? We learned that the pulse grenades... At least it seems... Are those growing? Can't tell. At least the pulse grenades... Oh, I need to grab this stuff. Um, I can't. I don't have my axe on me. The pulse grenades, at least it seems, will slow down their regeneration. Oh, I made it through. See, it tried to get me. Did you see that? It tried to grab me. Good luck, buddy. All right, let's just sell this shit to her. Oh, man. That's good, good times. Good morning, survivor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go make a couple more of those. Uh, keep that. That can go. You don't want that. So I'm going to have to make... Well, you just brightened my day. Yeah, we'll wait till tonight. It can be that you. bright. 
Um, yeah, we'll make a couple more pulse grenades. Just in case we do get something crazy tonight. I don't think we will. I mean, the worst we're going to get, I think, is the zombie behemoth, or the the muscly guy, the first guy that we faced at the at the uh, we fight place. Can't remember what he's called. It's the lesser of the two evils. I think we'll get some of those tonight. Okay, bring these out. And then SMG. Three of them. Thank you. Yeah, so we'll probably get a few of those tonight. Uh, anything else that needs to go in there? No. Okay, I feel actually pretty good now. That's actually a, that's that was actually a good win for us because now that we know we had the ability to deal at least a blow to those guys. Uh, what am I doing? Put you in here. You in here. I think what we're gonna do is gonna grab you and you and you because probably after tonight we're gonna need some steel. So let's make a bunch in here, which I'm sure I will forget that I've made. Get that going. Yeah, we're gonna run low on titanium. So let's get this stuff and let's make, um, it's two per, right? For pulse grenade, so let's craft 20. That'll give us 10 pulse grenades. So we'll have some extra if we need them. And I gotta go back to the wasteland, which I'm not a... Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. Okay. Uh, what else did we need for the pulse grenades? Um, right, the forged titanium. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, actually. So we need uh, 5 per. If we're going to make 10, we need 50. Drop that back. Alright. Yeah, man. I'm Okay, I'm feeling alright. That's the ammo for that. Anything else in here? Nothing in there. Nothing in there. There's my SMGs, which we can now put in here for now. 3. Uh, let's bring this out. We're going to repair the coil rifle we do have. Get that going. Alright. I think we're kind of like the best equipped we've ever been for uh, this horde tonight. Like ready-wise. Because we've got so much stuff now. Like, we've got all our ammo ready. We're ahead of time for that. We've got the rocket launcher with the ability to, to, to uh, pull off the rad stuff off people. <sighs> now, why am I still scared? Okay, let's get things sorted out here for the horde. Just so I have stuff ready. Okay, we're not going to use normal grenades. We're going to leave those in there. Repair kits I need to have on me. Uh, is this done? It is. So pulse grenades, let's make 10. We're gonna have those on us. So what else do we need for tonight? So that's 9, 18, 2100 rounds. But I think all of that needs to come with us. I don't, are we gonna need more than 2100? If we do, then we're doing something wrong, I think. So shotgun rounds, we're gonna have a lot of zombies tonight, so. Uh, let's go with this many stacks. We normally have that on us, but... Oh yeah, alright, I gotta think volume now. We had to repair our coil rifle last time. Maybe we don't use the sniper. And I take all the mods off there and put them on a third level 80 coil. So we have three coil rifles and no sniper. Means I need to make more mods though and I don't have enough papers, but what would we what would we be missing though? So this is different. Everything else is pretty much the same. It's the foregrip we would be missing and the retractable stock. 
Do I not have? I thought I had extras. I guess I don't. No foregrip, no retractable stock. Gonna need this guy for tonight. Uh, okay. Fair enough. How much would it take to make that, though? I think we've got enough for that. Because I, I think the foregrip's only five. Uh, F foregrip mod is five. Glue mechanical parts, springs, and then um, the retractable stock. Starts with an R. Is 10. So 15. We got enough for that. Let's do it. Let's just make it. And then we'll have... I'll run with three coil rifles as opposed to... Uh, ooh, I got a whole stack of steel in there I shouldn't have in there. It's not good. Glue mechanical parts and springs, correct? Or was it duct tape? I can't remember. Can't remember. Alright, four grip here. And then the retractable stock craft. Okay, and we're going to modify you. Armor shredder. Those guys come off. And we can put you away. We can bring out these guys. We need three of them to get a full uh, level 78, or level 80, I mean. Kind of annoying, but whatever. So these two, that, and then the foregrip and retractable stock. I know the silencer reduces damage, but you got to consider the noise that it's putting out too for you guys. I try to keep it quiet, but it's like loud, right? So, not much we can really do about that. Not the steel. Why did I have so much steel in there? I got a lot more steel than I thought. A lot more forged iron there. Well, I did buy some forged iron though. Okay, uh, what do we need need? We can't do any repairs. Got our ammo up. You know what I should do? Come on, this side. I'm going to reverse my ammo load. Normally I go this way. From left to right. It's generally how people read and stuff, but... Really it should go the other way because it takes from the left takes from the left and goes to the right, so at least as it starts to run out, I'll see how much I've got left. Rather than being like partial stacks on this end and partial stacks on this end. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, that can go there. We'll put the rocket launcher down here. I'm going to keep you at the later stage. And we'll switch the rifles around if one gets damaged. Because I don't think I'll need two more than two in my belt. That's loaded. That's loaded. That's loaded. Frags. Doom. You're loaded. Okay, I think we're good for Horde. Oops, I shouldn't have loaded this guy. No, I, I should have. Which is the one? There we go. Alright. Okay. Now, let's make sure we got our other stuff on us for tonight. I want to make sure we have some of these. Um, we definitely need that. We want to take out the learning elixir, which I think we can only really benefit from three because it's five minutes a pop, right? Yeah. I just have to remember to use them. That's the key. Use one of those. Use one of these. Now, I think what I'm going to do is rather than using these guys, I'm going to use these guys for putting myself out. Put two of them on the taskbar. 
frames just in case we need it. Uh, what else do we need? We need more first aid. I'm going to put two in the taskbar and have a third one down here just in case. That's going to get eaten before we start. Diazepam. I don't really think we need it right now for this particular horde, but maybe it's like 10%. Minus 30 water, 5 minutes, 10% damage. I don't know. I mean, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how the night goes. And if I if I figure I need it eventually, then we'll start using it the next horde. But for this one, I don't think we really need it. Um, do we need anything else? Let's make sure there's 5 of those per stack. Um, do we need anything else? Don't think so. Okay, pulse grenades. Ten of them. Down here. Uh, let's move this forward on the taskbar. Let's just hope I don't miss when I throw it through the opening. Because we're going to have to hit, him when, hit the zombies when they're on the ground. As opposed to, like, right in front of us, right? Like, they can't be... Up here, they gotta be down there. I'm really hoping one of these is enough. Okay, let's go and turn this off now. So all the SMGs are shut off. Let's go open up all the doors, make sure that's done. I don't want anything to go wrong with this particular one. Um, right. That should be always as well. Okay. Same over here. And in here. Okay, that's ready. That's ready. All we gotta do is turn on the power to the uh, electrical traps and we're ready for a horde. And the sun is going down. There's the thunder. Alright, I'm gonna get inside the... Uh, oh, you know what we need to do? Make sure this door is closed. So they don't see it as a pathway. Alright, let's see how much shit they bang on. We'll probably close this up too, just in case. Uh, what else? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Please guys, tell me why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Oh man. Let's grab... You, you... You. You. Wait, is it mushrooms that I need? Oh, not there. Here. It's free here. Meat stew. Oh, I don't even need the... Well, shit, that's nice. Ten of those. Really? That's like super cheap. I can't craft it. We got lots of food. Hello. All right, we're all loaded. All right, Bubba, good luck. Keep your head down. Keep your stick on the ice. Don't get beat. What do I, what, what am I forgetting, guys? 
Those doors are closed. I don't have any way up there. I took that out already. All the four doors are open. Really should have a checklist beside me. Should check this. Yep. Starting with two doors open. Actually, start with one door open. We got a second pathway here, so I'm not that... Oh, well, shit, I should have uh, upgraded this. No biggie, we're fine. We're fine, totally fine. He says before he dies horribly on a horrid night. Please don't die. Okay. Alright guys, here we go. Dana 105 Horde. Get this guy in. And let's go to town. 32 max alive. Well, it doesn't look like it. Oh, early demo. This should be really interesting. Ow. Fucking cops. Shit, there goes a button. Looks like it was spikes that they took out. Oh, that's not good. I should probably stay away from there. hearing here. Yeah, I was hearing the demo. I should have brought some lighter first aid. Got him before he went down. Get that cop out of here. I'm not going to worry about picking up loot. Make sure that's maxed out though in case we get a uh, hardcore zombie up in here. Don't like those guys. Oops, shit. That was a demon, I think. Yeah, I think it's working out better there. The fact that they can get up, causing less issues. Okay, 40 seconds till the first learning elixir wears off, which means we're, one, we're about one third of the way through the night. I'm hesitant to stick my head out the door here. We're doing a pretty good job of keeping my head down, that's for sure.
Did I get him? I was zoomed in trying to shoot the guy down there. Trying to extinguish some of these demons before they get up to me, but it's not working. There's too damn many of them. The fire is not so bad. It's just the length of time it burns for, right? It's almost time to bring in the, the uh, first backup weapon. That nurse. I have no idea wh which one of these guys is the uh, Bernie boys now. Look at them all. Ooh. Okay, here comes the first behemoth. Hey! I'm on fire! They're really hammering this uh, cage up here. Burns going down. All right, we've been lucky so far. Deleted that cop, but I got hit by a fucking fireball. I fell off. Okay, reload that, switch these around. Delete. That's a demonic one.
I don't know, I think it's going pretty well tonight. So far. Now that I've jinxed it though. He's gonna blow up down there, damn it. Okay, he got through the hatch. Shit! I didn't see him. I didn't. Ah, oh, man, I didn't see him get in. I didn't see him get in, and I switched guns to. Uh, Yeah, crap. I switched guns to reload. And then I got hit. I heard the sound of me being hit. I'm like, what the fuck? And that's when I looked down and I, went th and I was on my reload gun. And just when I went to change weapons back, he hit me again and killed me. Oh, man. What, that's sucky. We were doing so well, too. We'd only lost one of these. Like, ah. Uh, I don't even know. Like, I don't know if he... He must have gotten in when this... He must have gotten in when the first door broke. And I went down to open this up. It's the only thing I can think of, is he must have gotten in then. Ah, well. Still, though, I mean, it did pretty well. The base did pretty well, I think. I think it would have been a lot easier if I had that second turret up. I didn't think I was going to need it for this, but I think where that second turret's going to come in real handy is thinning out the horde at the door for when there's a behemoth or something there. Right? The behemoths aren't so bad. They take a lot of damage like that. You could see that one. It took a full clip. And then plus some. So they're not so bad. But it's the... Um, all the other zombies that are around them when they're at the door. That's the issue. I wish you could turn those sledges on and off. wish they were powered. You could just turn them... They, they should add that to the game. The, the power junk turret. Or a junk sledge. So you can turn it on and off when you want to when you want to use it when you don't want to use it. Anyway, I'm gonna go down the other way here. Ah, uh, that's really sucky. That's really sucky. Well, I mean, it's only the second time that I've been uh, killed in a horde night. The first time was when the behemoths reached through, and I kind of get that. I'll fix the outside ones tomorrow. I'm just going to close these up for now. So I don't think they got inside. Oops. Let's go get our... Um, let's go get our tool. These are all intact. Nothing going on there. I think the adding the steel plates and then adding the extra concrete on the inside was more than enough of a deterrent so let's grab our tool I'm gonna put these in there for now just so I don't accidentally use one on myself I'm gonna go down and collect the, uh, the stuff that they drop but I'm interested to see might as well grab um, some of this stuff while we're at it and some of that just to see I'm interested to see how much damage they actually were able to do so, let's go here. Uh, before we do that too, let's go ahead and turn off. 
all the defenses. I didn't hear the guns going off, so my guess is that we didn't really have any vultures. Which I guess is kind of a good thing. So here, this is mostly from me, so barely any damage. Yeah, this took a bunch. I think it's the big guys that are hammering on this thing. So, yeah. So that's not so bad. That was just started to be damaged, so it was fine. I guess I should go through and grab all this stuff too while I'm down here. Yeah, morning's about to come. I'm getting lag here. And then the blocks down here. Now, I did a bunch of damage down here to these blocks when I was shooting down here. So that's still not bad. That's that's okay. And that's okay too. That's from the demo. Which the junk turret, junk sledge, punched his button. Not much we can do about that. I don't know what why. Because they generally don't. I mean, he must have been hit once and then spun around a bit. And then it, it opened up the button to be hit again. And then got hit. That's my guess. I could be wrong, but that's what it feels like. Man, we were so ready for this horde, too. So ready for this horde. Alright, and that's the last bag. Don't need that. So, we did okay, even though we got killed. I mean, the, the, the main structure rarely ever gets damaged. You know? There's a handful of damage here. No problem. Then we got this damage over here, which is just the, um, the demo going off. Right? And that's an easy fix. So yeah, I mean, I don't know, I, I feel the base held up pretty well. Because really, I mean, honestly, let's face it, the demos are the least of our worries. I mean, yeah, if a whole bunch of them went off, um, like right here, it would cause major problems. Um, because they would just like blow a hole under my base and then it would be, you know, them just burrowing under me and that would be the end of it, right? Um, the whole base would come down at that point and you just want to like bail out so that they don't do too much damage. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's really those guys reaching through. Like that one um, mutated behemoth reaching through and hitting me that backed me up. And then he broke the hatch. I should have, as soon as... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I guess I have to like consider breaking that... Um, or having that second hatch up all the time. I mean, I guess I should have it up. It just makes killing the spider zombies and the dogs harder, but I guess, you know, in the long run, it's probably better because then I don't have to worry about shit like that, right? Where they break the hatch and then they're, then they're through. So I think that's what we'll do next time is I'll make sure I start with both hatches. Um, both hatches down. Or both hatches up, I mean. Because that's really bad. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.